Hi, I'm Jerry Mikulski, and I'd like to explain to you what RexLab is. Uh, briefly put, RexLab is a community of practice that's building the companies and concepts needed for a world economy based on trust that is already emerging. It's already on its way. This is not some idealistic vision. It's really a lot about purpose, purpose and mission. It's about working in the world for a reason. Um, it's pretty obvious to me and others that a whole bunch of people are busy reinventing society. There's the maker movement, resource sharing, the Occupy movement, uh, Arab uh, uprisings and springs, awakenings all over the world, uh, open science, open government, open source, uh, management practices like Theory U, which are bringing emotions back into the workplace, alternative currencies like time banking, permaculture, there's a whole bunch of things that each are coming from a different corner and don't particularly have a way of unifying themselves. We're putting a wrap around this called the relationship economy that says that we're moving toward an economy based on trust, authenticity, and scary words like intent, and really scary words like vulnerability. Um, and then unfamiliar words like the commons. One of the beliefs is that uh, companies need to be more aware of the commons that they affect, and they need to start building the commons with us rather than treating the commons as natural resources merely to be plundered. There's a whole map for this that I don't have time to go into right now. This is a drawing of the relationship economy uh, framework, and uh, we can go into it in different conversations, but there's a whole um, structure within which RexLab actually operates. RexLab and the relationship economy are humanistic, optimistic, and realistic ways of looking at the world. Um, they also offer a, a big opportunity for right livelihood, to find the thing you were meant to do, and that's really where, where RexLab comes in. Uh, RexLab is based really around projects, and these projects are going to be everything from startups to nonprofits. Maybe we should call them for benefits instead of nonprofits. Like that seems to be uh, where a lot of uh, business uh, is heading. And then we'll be creating also memes, presentations, media, writing, uh, videos like this one, all sorts of stuff that, that brings these ideas out into the world and nurtures things that are already in process. As we do that, we're gonna build our own projects. And uh, we already have a couple going. One of them is a structured economic sector analysis called Build the Economy, which is a way of looking at one economic sector at a time, say education or the food system or government uh, or telecom, picking it apart and then weaving it back together in new ways with the new forces that are showing up in the world right now. Um, another one is a platform to help artists make a living. Uh, a third one is a way of being in the world. And if this sounds a little woo-woo, let me explain it to you in just a second, because this is a way of us bootstrapping our own community of practice. All of these, the successful ones, the ones that roll and get some momentum, will roll out of RexLab and into the world. These are not things that we're going to keep, keep near and dear to ourselves. We're actually going to put these in the world. To do this, because this is a new project, we're going to need some practice. And we're going to invent this practice and share it with everybody else. Um, based on a couple of ideas. One is this notion of upward spiral, of this idea that, that you can actually improve all the things that you touch, that you can all be moving in an upward spiral together. Um, how do organizations learn this upward spiral business? What does it mean? So that's, that's one aspect of, of the practices we're looking at. We're going to have all sorts of cool people in here. We already have people from U.S. and France and, and a couple other countries in RexLab. Uh, we're looking at people all over the place and in all different sectors. So retail, not-for-profit, not education, healthcare, government, doesn't really matter. More diversity is better. Uh, in fact, I'm in conversations with some larger organizations to see if we can't get cohorts of people coming in from some green business schools, some other business schools, some design schools, some corporate universities, uh, and other kinds of, of entities. So that's the big picture for RexLab. Uh, RexLab is a Rexpedition. It's part of this larger relationship economy expedition idea. I'm Jerry Mikulski, and I hope you'll come by and uh, take a look and maybe join. RexLab costs $500 per year per person, uh, so it's not expensive, and uh, you'll be working with really fabulous people. Thanks for listening.